All right, the most difficult shot other than the free throw is a fadeaway. I get a lot of questions from kids and even grown-ups and adults about a fadeaway jump shot. Well, there's no correct fundamental way of shooting a fadeaway. I can give you some tips in terms of what to think about. In some of them, in some circumstances, it's, it's kind of against some of the fundamentals, but yet if you do it and you practice it enough, it can become a routine, and if you repeat it, it becomes a habit. Okay, in shooting a fadeaway, the one thing that you try to do is to create space between the defense. You try as much as possible to square your shoulders up so you're shooting towards your target. And a lot of the times, you're not going to be able to square them completely up, but you're going to square them up enough to it you can make your jump, jump shot and make your adjustments to shoot the basketball. So, but you also got to be able to go both ways. That's the key component in terms of as an offensive player, as I mentioned earlier, you want to be able to use all aspects of the shot, not just one side, not just turning over your right shoulder, but also turning over your left. And that's another instance of trying to keep the defense off balance so they cannot limit your options. So, if I'm posting up on the left block, I got a good stance, got a good balance, I feel the defense either putting the form or feeling the pressure from the defense, I can pick and choose because of the way I feel the defense pressure to go the opposite way or go opposite of where the pressure is. Sometimes I can use as a, what I call the windshield wiper. And I'll tell you what the windshield wiper is. It's a fake to go one way and yet come back the other way. So there's no difference when the defense is trying to force you to go one way that you fake one way and then come back the other way, keeping the defense off balance. So if the defense is standing behind me with his forearm, his right forearm, he's trying to keep you from going to the middle. He wants you to turn that way. Well, that's when I give the old fake come back this way. And in doing that, as you can see in the fadeaway, and I'm, you know, I can give you a lot more height when I have a defensive player on me, but I'm trying to show you the fundamentals of the fadeaway is when I'm turning, I'm turning with the notion of catching my target but not exposing the basketball here because the defense now can get to the basketball. So when I'm turning, I'm turning high. So when I'm turning and I'm squaring up to the target, I'm bringing the basketball at a higher portion or angle that the defense cannot strip at the basketball. Carl Malone, Charles Barkley, all those defensive players when they're playing the post are very good at when you bring the ball here, it brings a little man in play, it brings a quicker defensive player in play. If you bring it here, you eliminate the little people and it's hard for the defense to reach over your elbow and make a, king, a clean block. So. In the fadeaway, you're creating space here. As you see, my left foot is going to come back away from the defense. And you got to have strong enough wrist, and you have to practice this shot so you can make your adjustments shooting the basketball, moving away from the target, which is kind of opposite of what you're taught, which is one of the reasons it's not fundamentally the shot to shoot. But it's a great shot if you perfect it to create space from the defense, and yet a hard shot to play defense towards. So, fade away, using my left, pushing off my legs, falling back, shooting towards the basketball game. Now, it wouldn't be of any interest or purpose if you can only do it to the right side, so you gotta be able to do it. Fake here, doing basically the same thing, protecting the basketball, pushing off, shooting towards your target.